Hi, I'm Jeff Novotny, and a few years back, Digit Murphy and I were talking about the lack of recognition for inspirational women. And the, the, the story of her story came out of that, because we really wanted to find a way to recognize the inspirational things that women have done. So in 2019, we co-founded Her Story. Uh, it's a virtual museum, and it really can take on any sort of element, including be a, a actual museum location like we have here in Wesley Chapel, Florida. Well, for me, my story is, is not much different than many, many other men. Uh, I've got three great inspirational daughters that uh, are all on their own path and a very inspirational wife that really uh, it amazes me every day, uh, the things that they've done. Uh, I want to be an advocate for them but I also want to make sure that their stories get out and that they're uh, uh, transcended towards the next generation so that uh, girls and women can really understand um, that they can achieve a lot of great things. Really the mission is, is pretty simple. We want to be able to have girls ask two questions. First, who inspires me? And then second, how are you inspiring the next generation? And by doing this, answering these two questions, we really kind of focus directly on what it is that we can provide uh, the next generation of women in terms of recognition, but also inspiration uh, for them to achieve great things. Um, I co-founded her story because to me being an advocate is not just sitting on the, on the sidelines, it's really getting in the game. Uh, and the way I could do that is to, to provide my insight, provide my experience, and provide a connection uh, so that women of all generations can, can understand the stories that, that of those who have come before them. Um, too often these stories go untold. Uh, oftentimes they get lost in family life and everything else that kind of comes up. Uh, so we found that by being able to tell these stories and putting them out there, uh, it provides a connection to, to a lot of the, the things that have happened in the past uh, so that as uh, the next uh, set of girls and, and generation comes up, we're able to, to provide that insight, experience, uh, and inspiration. The Toronto Six uh, provides us an, uh, an opportunity to connect with really active athletes that are uh, moving the needle forward relative to their, their sport and their passion. Uh, the Toronto Six being a new organization, uh, certainly they've got stories that they haven't been able to tell yet. We thought this would be a great opportunity to kind of understand uh, the players and the leaders that they have. Uh, provide uh, an opportunity to mentor the, the next group that they'll have coming uh, up through their organization, but also really tell the stories of, of, of these great women and all the things they've accomplished up to this point. Uh, and in doing so in a platform that will be unique, uh, but in keeping with a lot of the things we've done. Uh, we believe that there's a great connection between the Toronto Six and her story and, and the ability for uh, really the inspiration of, of what women can accomplish on the ice, on the field, uh, as well as in the business area. That's it. I've got a few other things I'd like to include. Okay. Um, girls today uh, have a certain number of targets that they're shooting after, and, and oftentimes they don't understand how those targets actually came to be. Whether it's Title IX that, that came before them, uh, or perhaps you know, the, the pioneers of their, their sport, uh, women that, that uh, did a lot of things that no one really recalls or remembers, but uh, the girls were able to do these things because of who's come before them. Uh, a great example is um, an initiative that we have right now in terms of recognizing the 100th anniversary of the women's right to vote in the U.S. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of people uh, spend a lot of blood, sweat, and tears uh, to uh, allow that to accomplish, uh, to be accomplished. Uh, so we wanted to make sure that, that those who are able to vote today know that it was not something that was just entitled and given to them. It, it took a lot of work and a lot of energy and a lot of effort uh, to make that happen. Um, 
We also believe that her story is really a good way that we can help women pass the torch to the next generation uh, to be able to provide their insight, their inputs, as well as their experiences uh, and their achievements and accomplishments. Uh, it gives us a chance to recognize those, uh, to make sure that their stories are not forgotten. Uh, and by being virtual online, we're able to connect with, with all sorts of background data and information so that uh, uh, girls and, and women and, and men, for that matter, that uh, uh, look at what we've uh, put together, will have a better appreciation for the, the trials and tribulations of, of women who have come before them. Uh, as well as allow them uh, a chance to be able to build on that uh, and go from there. So with that, we appreciate all the opportunities we have with both Toronto 6 uh, and to be able to tell their stories. Uh, and as our uh, tagline goes with our videos, my story is her story. <laughs>